syndromes are symptoms that together characterize a disease or disorder. And you can think about the phenotype, which is the outward physical manifestation of, an, or of the organism, or the genotype, which is the internally coded information. So you could have um, little b, little b as your genotype and blue eyes, or big b, little b, and brown eyes as your phenotype. The genotype would be big b, little b. So all syndromes can be described in terms of their physical phenotypes and their genotypes. And an associated hearing loss accompanies over 200 syndromes. And many of them are rare and affect only single families. So with a syndrome, you have a single structured abnormality that raises the probability of additional abnormality. So it's like a group of abnormalities under an umbrella term of syndrome. So a child diagnosed with hearing loss, if there's no genetic like connexin um, recessive gene, you should also monitor them for additional abnormalities. And 30% of babies with hearing loss, the hearing loss is part of a syndrome and the baby has some other problem. So middle ear malformations could cause congenital conductive hearing losses. Sensory neural hearing losses often accompany visual deficits. The most common disorders that coincide with hearing loss include asthma, vision, neuropsychiatric problems, arthritis, head trouble, mental retardation, cerebral palsy, and cleft palate. For a dominant syndrome, only one parent has to carry the gene for it. And I'm just going to list a few of them. So Alport syndrome, hearing and vision problems associated with kidney failure. That's because of what happens in embryological development. They develop along the same track. The hearing loss usually begins in adolescence and is progressive. Crozon syndrome, you have an, abnormal, an abnormally shaped head. Um, the pinna might be low set. Structural abnormalities that cause middle ear hearing loss, conductive hearing loss. Treacher Collins syndrome, atresia, absence or closures of the ear canal, malformations of the middle ear ossicles and the cleft palate. Wardenburg syndrome, you have this white frolic of hair. 50% have congenital sensory neural hearing loss, ranging from mild to moderate. Long QT syndrome. Pendred syndrome. Usher syndrome. Um, so remember I said I'm pregnant while I'm making this recording and I had all the genetic testing that was possible and so did my husband um, because they can do these things now and you have a uh, very detailed ultrasound so parents have an incredible amount of information before the child's even born and they are able to screen my genotype and my husband's genotype and take fluid from the um, amniotic sac and screen the baby's genotypes. So during the screens, it's almost like you're given too much information. So I was told that I am a carrier for Usher syndrome. My husband's not, and it's okay because it's a recessive gene, but I knew right away what Usher syndrome was and the genetic counselor was surprised. And the reason I'm familiar with Usher syndrome is because it is a disorder or syndrome that involves both hearing and vision problems. And there are different onsets of it, but the child could be born with normal hearing, born with uh, vision, and then gradually lose it through adolescence. They could lose either the vision or the hearing or both. So it's a little scary and it's kind of shocking, um, but you know, there's no history of it in my family. I've never heard of anyone in my family being blind or deaf. And it's recessive. We carry these things and, uh, you know, it's amazing how the body works and how many things have to go well or right for there to be a healthy baby. Chard syndrome is another syndrome where babies are born with life-threatening birth defects. Let's 
you know, like I said, it's amazing everything that has to happen for there to be a healthy baby. Inner ear dysplasias, malformations, or incomplete development of the inner ear and the cochlea. If there's no cochlea, it's going to be hard to put in a cochlear implant to access the auditory nerve. So we don't have treatments for all of the disorders out there.